Hey everybody, this is Jimmy Buterf. Okay, l let me give you a little hit. All right, so the on and off, we'll, we'll call that the doubling. Now, if you guys remember the, the most harmonic numbers, the, uh, the, the doubling that goes down on the left-hand side and the tripling that goes across the top, and you get the Pythagorean numbers, the whole number ratios. So anyway, so the, the binary code that we're using the, with the semiconductors, right? It's on and off, all right, yes or no, uh, that, that represents the doubling. So we have to start looking at what the tripling, I mean, this is all in nature, this is all in music, this is, this is the fundamental principles of, you know, of life. So we're, we've been ignoring basically half of what we need to be looking at. So using the one through nine, the numbers, we're looking at the thirds, right? Remember the thirds that go across the top. We've got the doubling and the thirds on the whole, most harmonic numbers chart. All right, so that doubling in the thirds in, in Marco Roden's work, okay, it represents, you know, the doubling. One and one is two, two and two is four, four and four is eight, eight and eight is uh, 16, but the one and six make five. Really? No, hold on. Okay. All right. So eight and eight is, is 16, one and the six make the seven, seven and seven is 14, one and the four make five, five and five is 10. All right. So that, that, that's the doubling, which is this. And then you get the, the three, six, and a nine, the thirds. All right. So one of the most important things that I've, I've discovered in this thing about the three, the six, and the nine, you know, according to Marco Roden and also Nikola Tesla, if you understand the importance of the three, six, and the nine, you have the, uh, the key to the universe. Now, so the three, six, and the nine are, are all incorporated in here, but they're, they're using the doubling that we already know about, the technology that we already know. We just need to expand it into understanding what the thirds are. Now, uh, well, this is one of the things about, uh, uh, this is a video that I've already published, the first phase conjugate of Pythagoras tuning. Now, a, a phase conjugate is a very complicated uh, a, a term or, or uh, um, an idea to, you know, understand. And I, 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 um, I depict it in one of my videos about how, you know, using Pythagorean tuning, you get to the third phase conjugate. So this is one, two, three, and then you get a phase conjugate. There's, there's, it, it's, it's very tricky stuff how this whole thing works. But I just want to give you guys just a little bit of a hint about how we're working with this. And I'm going to give you the last hint, and that's going to be utilizing these is going to be uh, using light frequency, all right? Or I could better say uh, rhythm, all right? So I might have more on this later. I want to see what comments I'm going to be getting about this whole thing. So um, we're talking about computing power. We're talking about... Well, expanding it. Once we get to you know to the you know the computing stuff, and understand how this all works, then we get into the transportation, do all these different things. Because I mean, rocketry and, and combustion of fuels is really ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's like it's, it's caveman stuff. I mean, we've been doing it for a hundred years. Come on, it's time to get out of the Stone Age. It's time to get out of the Dark Ages and into a technology that's clean and easy to use and accessible to everybody all right so still send me a message if you're really interested uh, jamie j-a-m-i-e at 432design.com thank you